What's up guys, it's Kayla and Jim. Welcome back to another special Meteorology Monday. You guys are gonna laugh at all the times we just did that intro. Gosh, it, I mean. <laughs> it's been a morning. It's like, all right, it's lunch break. Let's record real quick. No, let's take seven takes just to say hi. It's us again. Anyways, what are we talking about today? Today, we are going to talk about, well, let's, let's put it this way. Past few videos have been about the Twisters movie that is coming out. We did the first trailer. We did the second trailer. And some of you have commented about doing the international trailer as well. So we thought, well, well let's go ahead and put a poll out there and see what everybody thought. And an overwhelming majority said, please do the international trailer. So that is what this week's Met Monday is all about. Yes. Shout out to the one person who voted no, this video is for you. <laughs> And side note, thank you for bringing to our attention that there even was an international trailer because every time I had typed in new Twisters trailer, it only came out with the one that we reacted to last time. So, uh, very interesting footage, very different vibe. We have some opinions, we have some thoughts. So I guess without further ado. That's right. Let's dive in. I'm very sorry. eerie oh, beginning. Oof. You know a tornado rating. It's not based on size and wind speed. I've got you, Kate! It's based on damage. What it destroys, what it takes from us. That put like a whole dramatic twist on the EF scale that I wasn't ready for, but he's right! I want to help people. And you're the only one to get me close enough to a tornado to do it. I don't chase anymore. I can't do this without you. It's Tyler Owens. He calls himself a tornado wrangler. So it looks like she's actually part of one of the scientific groups. We don't mm -hmm. need PhDs and fancy gadgets. A little unclear how she ends up with. Are those fireworks? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Fire sh firework shooting uh, storm chasers. You know, there might be application to that. Yeah. Oh, this scene. With the windmills after seeing the Ohio or um the Iowa tornado footage this past week. In theory, but I never had a chance to get close enough. You want one? That's innovative. <laughs> That's just insane. Why are we driving towards it? Oh, that was a cool shot. <laughs> They're combining. They're combining again. If we pull this off, it could help save thousands of lives. You don't face your fears. What did El Reno do to anyone? <laughs> you ride him. The heat's intensifying it. The heat's intensifying. Never. It was much bigger. Yeah, it did. Okay. He's playing it again, folks. <laughs> so we wound up going back and just before looking at this, we watched the first and second trailers as well. Yep. Just to kind of get our perspective on it and then yes. went into this fresh with looking at the international trailer. So what did you think about the international trailer? I gotta say that this one feels the most like the original Twister. You've got the, we've got to save everybody, you know, our scientific research kind of depends on this, messed it up the first time, let's get it right the second time, let's go out there, let's save lives. Very, very Twister. I can kind of see what they're going for here compared to trailer one, which was um, kind of nothing like 
what the this international trailer is showing um and then trailer two which had just a different vibe and pretty much the same footage but very interesting trailer two had a bunch of the same footage as this one but different voiceovers for that setting different scenes so i don't even know if the international trailer is actually what it's going to be about but this is definitely very twister-esque i could definitely see how this is where the movie's going yeah, I, I would have to agree. I, I like the international trailer better. Yes. When when looking yep. at the first one, it kind of looked like... Um, Cheesy storm chaser movie. It was... <laughs> it kind of looked like it was... Um, they were picking like good parts of the movie and just kludging them all together. Yeah. And it, it didn't make a whole lot of sense other than, okay, well, we understand it's tornado chasing and there's storms impacting people, but it just didn't flow. Yeah. And then the second one was a little bit longer, yeah. and it, there seemed to be a flow to it, but then when watching the international trailer, I felt like it told a story with the flow. So yeah. I, I lean more toward the international trailer as being the better of the three, Yeah. and, and so do you. Yeah, I see what you guys were saying. Yeah, yeah. So for those that commented and said, you got to see this, thank you so much for bringing that to our attention. Yes. Um, we agree with you. This, this one does seem to lay it out the storyline a little bit better and yeah. we're even more excited for the for the movie now. Oh my gosh, only a couple more months. Some interesting things in this trailer that um, was kind of expounded on compared to the other ones is the fire NATO at the <laughs> end of the trailer. So they're basically saying that it's a tornado that went over something hot it exploded and it's expanding the tornado. Have you ever heard of that happening in real life? That's interesting. It's very, very Conceptually, sci -fi. let's think about this. So let's say you have a tornado, mm -hmm. it goes over something, causes an explosion, and like say uh, a gas, mm -hmm. I don't know, refinery or, or whatever that place is, where there's continued fuel being injected into the base of the storm and into that tornado, would it cause a more rapid rising of air like fire tornadoes right. that we see a rush right. of wind it, yeah. it you know some of these big fires that we see out west in the western u.s how you can get these large tornado fire tornadoes um yeah. conceptually it sounds like it's pretty it, much it on target could. yeah potentially you've got um really hot air likes to rise really quickly and then if you have really hot here and you have relative to that very cold air next to it you also get a temperature gradient which causes wind mm -hmm. so you can have a lot of wind rushing in and then it wants to rise so it could conceptually yeah. be adding yeah. energy to a storm That's so right. um it'd be interesting to see in the actual movie how they kind of science it further and if that's the direction they're going with, or it's just like, we blow up a tornado and all of a sudden it's huge! Keeping in, in that thought, I would say that if it just hit something and something exploded and that was it, I would say, you know, would it form this massive tornado that would be sustainable and, and it just, I don't think that would be the case. Probably but if not. in this, it kind of led me to believe that it hung over an area that had a continued fuel source to keep feeding it, to keep growing it. You know, that sounds that sounds plausible. Yeah, hopefully they have scienced it that way and we're not going to get to the theaters and it's like, oh my gosh, out of nowhere, and then the tornado moves on and all of a sudden, it, I mean, it's over the flames for two and a half seconds and now it's an EF-17. It went from a rope to a 17 and there's nothing in between. It's like it blew up this and there it goes. And it goes towards El Reno apparently because the poor town can't catch a break. <laughs> what is this, the third? Third movie or something that's got El Reno just like, Ah, let's wipe that one off the map again. Nobody can. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you know, if they got, you know, any money from movies that would just continue to I obliterate El Reno, they could rebuild that town over and over again with the money they would make Absolutely. if that was possible. Yeah, they always seem to pick El Reno as ground zero for some of these things. So, Poor town. let's also touch on something else real quick. We have twin tornadoes. They're all very excited about this. And then they say they're combining. Is this real? Mm. Do tornadoes combine from two little, I mean, obviously it's not a size and wind scale, so I don't know if I could technically call it an EF1, but they look like they would produce like EF1 damage. So we'll say two little tiny EF1s, and then it turns into that. <laughs> Death, destruction, and seven miles wide. Can that happen in real life? Uh, I've, I've seen some instances where, um, 
let's say the storm is forming mm -hmm. and you get these ropes that tend to come down, these little tentacles, you know, it'll, it'll, and then it'll go back up and then another one will come down. And as it's organizing itself, you'll have a few tentacles down mm -hmm. and then eventually it forms into a cone and, and, a, and more and of a the wedge. The main one, yeah. So, um, so the thought process to that, plausible. Mm -hmm. um, but they're I've not seen, combining. Well, I have it's seen- the storm. You know, two tornadoes mm -hmm. that, you know, one was the mature tornado, a yes. new one would form. Yeah. Now the mature tornado yeah. starts to die, gets in, gets wrapped into the circulation of the newer mm -hmm. maturing tornado and, and gets, in, you know, pulled in possibly. It's more like it absorbs the dying one into the more- Exactly. Yeah. Th those Not are the combining. ones- combining. Th those but. are some examples I'm familiar mm -hmm. with. Two full-grown tornadoes that actually combine into one massive I'm not saying it hasn't happened but I don't we recall, don't know about it. I don't recall an actual event where that particular scenario happened yeah. so yeah. but it, it is not uncommon to have one dying tornado and one that's just now forming from the same supercell mm -hmm. and this one kind of dies off and this one's growing and it's more the rotation and, and all that energy shifts to a different part of the storm, and then what's left over gets absorbed into it. Maybe that's what they're going for, and they just maybe. use the flashy terminology of they're combining, they're twins, oh my gosh. Um, and maybe there's yeah. two or two or three minutes of footage between the right. two clips right. that there actually will glue it together and, and we'll get a better understanding of it. Could so be two completely different parts of the movie with how Hollywood's gonna Hollywood. There you go. So, uh, but that's just our opinion on the international trailer and the scenes that we've kind of gotten a little bit expounded on compared to trailers one and two. That's right. I thought uh, this was the better one. For those that haven't seen it, uh, we suggest you see all three and then give us your opinion. And it it kind of sets up everything that we need to know for the movie without giving too much away. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we're going to get another trailer. I would guess not. I don't know. Maybe some TV spots here and there, like a, a scene or, or two. But I don't know about full trailers because this one... Will they have an international trailer too? We'll like see. we had two. Who hey, knows? You know, if there's another one, you know where we'll be. <laughs> That's right. Join That's us. Right. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next one. And there you have it. Two Meteorologists reacts to the international trailer for the movie Twisters. Super excited. Comes out in July. I was informed by a friend that ticket prices are actually more expensive than the $50 that I thought um, was being dramatic. <laughs> in the last one, so you might need to save up like 60 or $70 if you want some popcorn and movie tickets. Either way, if you like what you saw, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, check us out on social media, Facebook and Instagram. Since YouTube has a problem with us reacting to these videos and the <laughs> studio that makes the movie Twister seems to hate anybody who does a reaction video, check out our Patreon if you want to support our unmonetizable videos. <laughs> <laughs> and as always, if you want to learn the basics of meteorology, some stuff about severe weather without going to school for it or paying a ton of money, check out our School of Weather where you can watch us talk about, you know, all the things that you would see in a college level intro class and we learn a little bit about tornadoes that could help you when you see the movie Twisters. That's right. Until next time, I'm Kayla. And I'm Jim. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you at the next Meteorology Monday. All right, cool beans. <clears throat> It was the coolest of beans. <laughs> 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 <laughs>